I would just want to show this with you. What I've changed, I've changed the PID. I mean, if I keep the same PID that's the one we generated first, we will see it as a mouth. Here now we want to be seen as a keyboard. So we have to modify this PID. I do it for you. And, oh, no, that's the enters. I don't tell you more for the moments. So let's go in the different action we've got to do. Here we have to change the hands on the size of the report. Okay. First it was only four. Now it will be much more different. And you have to adapt it to the size of the report. Okay. Okay, I should do poor. Keyboard labs. Okay. So now the size, and I think you can't in size. Okay. I have to show you this information to know the EP size. So the Ashida descriptors, I already changed it to you, but the report now for a key press would be this one. It would be, I would say, one, two, three. So you've got eight bytes to report. Now, we've got a report ID, a modifier, just to know if you press some left or some control. You've got ORM reserved, and then you've got key one, key two, or up to key five that could be pressed at the same time. Press or release. It's just a status of a key. That means if you change for the key one, it was a A that is pressed, then you have to set a zero to say it has been released. Okay? So this is a report that will be, uh, will be now sent through the, this uh, device. So you've got the size that you have to put. So it's nearly the answer of the to do one, I would say. Here, now our hand point will be eight. Okay. So this was our first action. So adapt the interface protocol to keyboard. If you have a better look in the descriptors, then you see that you define the number of on-point, the class, subclass, and you've got also in the description for the HID the interface protocol. For the moment, it's a mouse. So you have to tell now it's not a mouse. It's a keyboard that will be handled as its on-point. So here we will have to change this value. It's okay for you? You can have a look in all the descriptors and the different interfaces that have been done. So one, two is okay. So the report descriptor size. Okay, you can't, I will say, invent it. Uh, I just generated for you this descriptor size. We can find it here. So, sorry. It was just air. Air is typically, even if the name is HD mouse, it's for a keyboard, you've got this famous quite strange syntax who define the, the 8 bit on what are inside. So here you've got additional command, but as you can see, it's a little bit complicated. To generate such kind of thing, use the tools that you can find on the USB.org for sure. There is some example that provide you some syntax and explain you how it's done. So let's come back on our task number three. Just change this value to 187, which is the new side of the descriptors, the report descriptors for the keyboards. So 
Then change the HID descriptors, so I just do a flag for you, because before it was just the mouth, without any comment, and if you just change this flag, it will take the second one that I put already for you in the code, because it's a little bit long to copy. So really the purpose of this uh, hands-on is to show you that when you change from one hash ID to another one, you have to think about how the data are, I will say, declared in the descriptors and how they will be sent. So it matters. And now we can report the value. Okay. So if you remember, I would say it's no much more complicated than what have been done in the mouse. So I let you thumb try to change just to give you that the report code data page down press is 4A. So remember, we will have to provide a buffer. This time it's not um, 4 bytes, but it's 8 bytes. Okay. And I will show you the structures, and we have to put this value in the key one to say, okay, this has been pressed, okay? And then we will need to send this report, or to put the report available when the host will request it. You catch the purpose? Oh, yes. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes to have a look. So let's declare our buffer first again. So here, yeah, as we've done, what is this? No, that's a good one, sorry. I have to click on the main here. So I already declare for you the buffer with the eight. It's already down. So we can just use it. So I declared also for you the structures, so please just use it and put the key code that you are expected. So let's prepare this data first. So what I will do, first I want to report a key press on 4er. For that, I just modify this one and say OK, OX 4a. And then I need to send this report. So if you were remembers, usbd underscore hash id send report. I just do the control space and it proposes to me. So I can send report. I need the pointers on the device, the report, and the report size. So I will find the pointer on the device just after. but. I'm sure that it was the buffer that I want to send, and the length is 8. For the declaration of the pointers, it should be done there, in the device again, and we can find it, the structure. Then I shall delay just to ensure we've got time. So if I was just doing this, I will say it will detect that I press the button. But you have to release the button to take into account in your PC. I mean if you just press a, a nothing's happened. You have to release it before. Okay? So we should have to duplicate this one and here to say, okay, this time uh, there is nothing press. Then it will detect that we've got press and release on the control on the patch down button. It's okay for you. So let's praise the god of the compilation. Well, let's compile it. I hope I haven't forget anything. Oh. 
Okay, the build is okay. You can see some warning because I put some pragma warning on each to do, but it's just that. Um, okay, now let's download this code. So again, just debug. My device is still connected. So I will just unconnect it. Okay. Then I started it. And for example, I put at the beginning, when I plug it. Okay. I push the button, then it's go down as if I have pressed the page down of my PC. Okay? Just I'm doing this, it go down inside the file. 